What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another Clash Royale video. Today I have a super amazing golem deck for you guys to try out, which is pretty awesome. I don't think I've done any golem decks on the channel and you guys know I'm an expo player. That's what I do. So I don't really get to like try a lot of different decks. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to make a golem deck and oh my god, I was absolutely amazed by it. I played like three or four matches and I won every single one with it. I expected to like go down in trophies because you can see my card levels. I have a level four golem. Uh, I have a level three uh, executioner, a level nine cannon. And where I'm at on the trophies, 4,300 trophies. Most people have level five to level six epics, which is absolutely crazy that I am able to win with level three epics, level four epics, and I have a level nine common cannon. A lot of people have even 12 and 13 level commons where I'm at. So you know this deck is going to be good when you can win with it with low level cards at like a high amount of trophies, which is true wherever you're at. Even if you're in a lower arena, if you have low level cards and you can win, at a high amount of trophies then you are a good player the deck is definitely good but let's go ahead and hop into this live match I'm gonna try and walk you guys through how you use the deck it's pretty simple to be honest so the goal of this deck is to get in a successful push with the executioner and the golem and then one support card and those support cards you'll be choosing between probably poison or the Electro Wiz, depending on what cards they put down. So, but the two main ones you have to have in the push are the Executioner and the Golem. Now you're gonna see he's gonna push over here with Elite Barbs. So we're gonna put down a Cannon, not the greatest. And we're a little bit low on Elixir because we put down the Golem. But we do have enough Elixir to put down our Skeleton Army, the Cannon, just basically save the tower. Now he's got a Hog Rider deck. So the goal of this is when he comes in with the hog rider you want to get the cannon down or the uh, the electro whiz is pretty good at also stopping the hog but you're gonna be facing giant decks so you're gonna want to get the cannon down in the middle to pull them on your side pull them to the middle get that damage in get both towers shooting them and that's how you're gonna play defense so you can see he's coming at us with the hog we don't have our cannons the next best option is the electro wizard and he actually does a pretty good job like the hog only gets off one shot against the Electro Wiz and then he's gonna go and get him damage on the tower which is awesome because he does a lot of damage too. people underestimate the Electro Wiz but he will wreck your tower people need to start like taking him out but as you can see we got another golem push he went with elite barbs which is a common thing you're gonna see when you play golem you put down the golem the other person is going to think you have no elixir and they're going to push with the elite barbs. So you got to get the cannon down. You got to try and get skeleton army down. Basically the best you can. And if you have an ice spirit, use that on defense. Because that will slow down their push. Give you time to get more elixir and defend it. So definitely use the ice spirit. I think it's a good way to go. You can see here I went with poison. So the golems on the tower doing damage. While... The elite barbs are getting poisoned. It's just making them 10 times easier to deal with when they come in. They're going to get taken out by the cannon, by the skeleton army. It's just super easy to deal with. Now, here I go again with the executioner uh, golem push. And I think this time I'm going to get down an electro whiz on defense again for this hog rider, which does an amazing job. I'll probably get down another poison if I can. Yep, there's the poison. So if they have like minion horde or skeleton army or anything like that that they use to defend the golem get down your poison it'll take out the skeleton army in no time it'll take out the minion horde so that your golem can he keep hitting the tower it's your call so again remember the two cards you want to push with are the golem and the executioner and then depending on what they put down you're going to want to do an electro whiz or poison if it's skeleton army or minion horde poison if it's like an inferno tower or a cannon or like spear goblins or something like that 
definitely go with the Electro Wiz. Let me know if you guys are liking this deck and if you're getting wins with it. I was amazed that it actually got some wins for me. I might honestly level up these cards and see if I can push even higher. So that has been the Golem, Executioner, Poison deck, whatever you want to call it. And one more thing before I go, I know I'll probably see this in the comments, but it's probably going to be, I don't have the Electro Wizard, what should I use instead? And my answer there would be the Ice Wizard if you have him, because he slows stuff down as well kind of similar to the Electro Wizard, but not identical. He'll still do a good job of slowing down Hog Riders, Giants, stuff like that. But if you don't have the Ice Wizard either, it's up to your preference. Any three to four Elixir card that you like, maybe the Musketeer, it's up to you. Find a card that you like instead of that. But uh, that's how you use this deck, guys. Be sure to leave a like on this video, subscribe for more Clash Royale videos, and I will see you guys in the next one.